In this tutorial, we'll continue with the earth splitting effects, but this time we'll really try and make it look like it's splitting the earth. All right, so well, let me see what we had here. Um, so notice in here, if I come down in here, well, this effect can help if you just move the terrain along. All right, so that's one thing to do, but then it's not really going to, let's move this up close. Let's move this here. You know, when you split the earth, you're not going to see this giant cone splitting the earth and it's not going to just split it you know exactly at a well we can't really even see it because the cones in the way but the cone would if you if the cone wasn't in the way we would see it splitting it kind of like this so we need to modify the shape of the brush in order to do it because that's really the value of all of these lessons is it's the brush shape that makes the difference so let's move this up here just for a second I'll zoom in on it and I'll go see if I can just, I'll just do a quick modification over here. Nothing much, but maybe it's enough to give you an idea of how you might go about creating your brush. Because it's kind of like when you paint on the canvas, right? You have a fan brush versus another brush. And you might, you know, the shape of the brush is what makes all the difference in the world when you're painting and the stroke and everything. All right, so now let's just take this. I'm in proportional edit mode, so I'm going to move this on Y editing like this. Alright, so I'm just carving a wedge with it like that at the front of the brush. Okay, so now I have a new shape brush. Alright, so that's one thing. Uh oh, hang on. Better escape edit mode. Alright, now we'll just see what that will do. We'll just move it along in, in the Y direction here in a second. Like this, and then we'll run the animation from the beginning. See, if, see what effect that does. I'm just GY now. And then we can see it would actually carve a wedge through there before it got to the cylinder. We don't care about the cylinder, but you can see what the wedge is going to do right in there like that. So it kind of splits it like this. So the rest of the cylinder type shape doesn't really work very well. So you know what? We'll fix it. All right. It's still not what we want, but I mean it kind of gives you a better idea. Okay. All right, so there's our new wedge going through the surface. Let's run it. G Y like that. And you can see it's splitting it. So, well, I narrowed that last one too much. So that wasn't enough. But you can see it's starting to split it like that. So it's you really just want kind of like a wedge that goes through, and you want to kind of make all kinds of things on your brush to make it work right for you. So that's for starters. But then the other thing is just make sure that uh, you come in here and you come into your material tab. Let's pause this for a second and then come down to transparency. And we'll just turn it off. All right. So then when your uh, scene is running, maybe your there's your brush there in the scene. So maybe all I've maybe your animation is nothing more than me setting a keyframe, a location keyframe here. And then up here, I move it up to there. You know, maybe I've set another location keyframe. Well, actually, let's do this. Let's rotate it on Z a little bit. And I'll set a location, rotation keyframe. Then I go back to the other one. And I'll just rotate that on Z a little bit the other way. And I'll set a location rotation keyframe like that. Now let's just run the animation from the beginning. All right, but we'll just make this, we'll just highlight that. And so there goes your splitting effect. So without seeing it happen like that. All right, well, I'll see you in the next lesson.